Hello students and friends of the booktube slash whoretube community. It is Coach Stroud and today I'm going to give you a tour of my library slash office slash all around awesome space. i uh, give you a quick overview here. There's my desk. There's that. that leads into our living room over there. Some more bookshelves. There's my dog in her cone. <laughs> That's Tessie. But um so gonna run run down a few things here. This is all over here. This is fiction, uh classics, some of my wife's books, fiction wise, some more classics, nonfiction, uh, and then over here are teaching books, um reference material kids books, uh, hard case crime novels, so on and so forth. And then this is my horror section, <laughs> pretty much. So I'll start over here. I'm not going to go through all the books with you. You can kind of see what I've got going on here. I love Jim Butcher. He's an amazing author. Uh, up there is pictures of my wife and myself and painting my son did and uh, my wife's family. And Jim Butcher. There's some um, some of the uh, Game of Thrones books I picked up recently. Uh, Orson Scott Card, John Grisham. Some more beautiful, beautiful books there. Keep going. Some good stuff down there. That's a uh, uh, that's a couple bigger books, sports cards, and stuff that my wife worked on for years, uh, schoolwork stuff. Uh, that's my guitar, one of them. Love it. Uh, those are my kids and my family right there. It's very nice. Here's some of the classics right here. What I deem to be classics, you know. Um, and then moves into some fiction right there, some sports fiction. Or, sorry, sports nonfiction, I should say. Yeah. And then over here... Got some good reference books down at the bottom. Uh, love these two books right here. Um, Ultimate NES and Ultimate SNES. These are, are both by Pat Contry. Great books. You should check them out if you like a uh, history of old video games. So, And then some yearbooks and stuff down there. Lots and lots of nonfiction here. Some books, uh, essays, uh, biographies, autobiographies, sport or sports and uh, music, stuff like that. Over here, it's my desk. It's where I do a lot of my writing, pretty much all my writing. Uh, these journals here and over there are all journals that are filled up with uh, like a diary or uh, stories I've written, short stories and stuff. Uh, this is Local Haunts, the book that I was recently published in. Uh, this is my favorite book here. It is a first pressing of The Moon is Down. It's awesome. Love it. It's got the mistake in it that called for another pressing. Complete Sherlock Holmes there. Love Sherlock Holmes. He's great. Over here are books that I've had signed by authors or books that I've appeared in. Another copy of Local Haunts. Uh, so plays right over there. Hard Case Crime and then plays. Plays that I've been in uh, over the years. Some writing references, things like that. Paperbacks from Hell is over there. That's a great book. The uh, AP style book, that's awesome. And then Young Readers. And then over here down at the bottom, we have more like teenage books. Oh, hello, Tessie, in your cone. <laughs> we have teenage books, young adult. Tessie wants to get in on this. Say hello. Who's your good puppy? Sorry, moving up a little bit more. Some more, um, some teenage books. Uh, Scott Pilgrim series. Love that. Video game based stuff here. Zelda. Moving up, we have horror. Lots and lots of horror. 
good books that I've read, some that I need to can uh, a few that a few of them here that I need to read that I have not read yet, but a good majority of them, vast majority I've already read. Uh, some Christopher Pike and Stephen King books right there. Uh, Christopher Pike was my favorite uh, author as a kid. Some 80s and 90s paperbacks. Some early 2000s. This is, I consider to be like my little section that is like my most favorite books right now. So I got all of Cameron Rubik's books and love those. Those are phenomenal. Um, Cameron Chaney's Autumn Crow, which is awesome. Pen Pal, right here by Dathan Auerbach, is, in my opinion, like, one of the scariest novels I've ever read. And then, let's see, Sour Candy here by Keelan Patrick Burke is probably one of my favorite novellas at this time. And then there's the Stephen King collection that I showed y'all the other day. So there we go. So this is basically just my library where I do my writing and sometimes some music playing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 2020 is coming to an end. Who knows where my library will go in 2021. We'll see. All right. Take it easy, guys. If you have any suggestions for what I should do next, let me know down below. Deuces. I'm out.